All right, I'm gonna use the restroom and we will be right back in one second. All right, be right back. Yeah, how many points am I losing Arena Kings? If I play well, I can maybe game, but it's it's going to depend on how many times I play these top couple of guys. So I can, I mean, right now the field is not very scary. Like there aren't a lot of people who are super scary, so it'll depend. Goes A3, which looks a little bit weird. I'm moving, we're both moving kind of fast here, actually. Moving like maybe too fast, honestly. Okay, now is where, where I should probably think or just keep moving fast. I'm gonna go here in Knight C2. I wonder why. Oh, I blunder this. Lovely. But he has to give up a pawn here. It's not clear this is great for black. Like, this looks good, but his bishop is just as bad as my bishop. So it's not clear. Let's go back. Like, his bishop is glue. Oh, uh, he goes there. Like, this may be B4. I think I'll just go rook B1. Wait, 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 wait a second. Now there's... Now there's pressure. This is a very strange position. I don't know what's going on here. There's pressure on a3. Can play h3. Wait. I'm going to go here. Because now I can just take the pawn. I mean, he has some knight f3 business. Wait, what? Wait a second. Takes, takes... I'm thinking too long here, by the way. I think I'll go. Oh, he takes with the pawn. Okay, I did not expect that actually. I'm probably, I probably should just force a draw with d4 here, just to be safe. It's the first round. It's, it's not the time to go insane. Yeah, it's not the time to go insane here and go for something wild and messy. I think I probably had something else, but it's it's not the time to go insane. Queen B2 is, I think, a pretty good move, potentially. It could also be a bad move, depending. I can also go Queen A4, Queen B5 is a move. Wait, I'm, I'm thinking too long here. Let's go here. Queen B5 actually is a terrible move, by the way. Horrible move. Um, I guess I'll go here and take, maybe. There's still queen c7 also. And now bishop d5 is incoming as well. I think he blundered, kind of. It's not a huge blunder, but it's still a mistake. It's not the end of the world, but once I get the active bishop, it's not clear-cut. Yeah, I go here, of course. I also had bishop e4 maybe as well. Uh... Hmm... Now I'm just going to go here and rook f1 and force a draw. Or wait, no, it's not a draw. I've got rook e8. What am I smoking? Again, on here I can take check, check, and I win. 
Ooh, ooh. Wait, it's not winning? Wait, Bishop F7. Wait, what? Did I blunder something here or is Bordnik just insane? I think Bordnik's just insane. Yeah, Bordnik's just insane. He's just completely off his out of his mind. Um I just go F3 and I have rookie four. Yeah, it's completely out of his mind. Insane what Bordnick just did there. Completely insane. And on that game, I gained more than any single game that I won before. Bordnick obviously sees this. I don't know why I don't know why he played knight d3 and then rook f7. I mean, maybe he thought it was already bad after rookie one. But to play rook f7. Oh my gosh. Are you seriously? I play Nihal? What is this? A joke? Is Nihal actually streaming or not, by the way? Is Nihal streaming? No, if, if Nihal's not streaming, this is bad. Bad. No, it's not that I'm scared of Nihal. It's just that this is Arena Kings. You're not supposed to actually play this unless you're streaming it. That that's that's why it's nothing. It's nothing about uh, it's nothing about like um nothing about like I'm scared of him. It's just that in Arena Kings, a tournament where you're you where you can only get prize if you're streaming. Uh, I'm gonna go a five, which is probably bad, but I don't care. No, Nihal's not streaming, so he's probably just trolling with one game, and that's eh, fine. It's one game. Who cares? Yeah. Who? Whoa! Thanks so much, Chess, for the fifty gifted subs. Thanks so much, Chess, for the fifty gifteds. Appreciate. It. Thanks so much, Chess. None other than the great creator of this game itself. Um, I'm gonna go here anyway. I actually gave away a square, but does it really matter? Probably not. Let's go here. Yeah, thank you so much to chess. Let's go here. I mean, everybody's pieces are somewhere. I don't know who's better, but something's happening. This game is the good news about this game is gonna be decided in the opening. That's the good news. It was Bishop E2. I mean, I have knight e4 here, I think. I also have a4. Wait, a4, b4, knight, b3, knight, b3. It looks like an idea. I also have b5, b4 maybe as well. Um, like, what am I supposed to do? I'm thinking too long. Okay, b5, knight, d2. I'm going to go b5. He can obviously take if he wants to. Probably going to go knight, d2. Fairly balanced. I'll pre-move this in case he takes. It's a good safe pre-move. Please win this. That's the goal, if I can. Um, I mean, this is very draw. If I... Wait, takes, takes, takes. I don't know. I'm going to go for it. Let's go here. Takes. Now, I can take with the... Pawn, I guess. Take. Wait, what's going on? Take six. Bishop c5. I mean, I can play knight a4 and make it, make a draw. I guess. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to make a draw, but takes, take, takes, takes. Bishop c3. Let's go for it. He takes. I have bishop c3. That's that's what I'm going for at least. And the bishop guards backwards. Go here. I shouldn't be able to lose this. The only question is, can I win? The problem is my rating is so low. Nihal is not streaming this. He's trolling. Which, I mean, one game, fine. Whatever. I'm not going to complain about it. If it happens, like, multiple times, then I'll probably say something. But also something chess.com should do something about. So I take. He's going to go bishop b4. Play, like, rook c4. Take with the knight. I mean... I play like h5 maybe he can't go rook c1 because i have 92. okay now i'll just go like knight here takes plays h4 logical i mean i can obviously make a draw here go here bishop e6 knight e7 really the only question is whether i can win this 
Probably the answer is no. I mean, Nihal is probably a little bit too good, but maybe. Good G5, try to confuse the situation. I think I go here. Should have played knight f4, of course. It was rook g8. He should have traded and played rook g8. Um. Okay. Okay, let's go again. Yeah. I don't think I was ever winning there. I was I was better maybe with the four pawns or some chance. But once the, once we got to 3v3, I don't think I could win. Not a big deal either way. But yeah, I mean that that, that kind of was a waste of time. Maybe I should have just offered Nihal a draw 10 10 hours earlier rather than lose extra time. But it is what it is. Who cares? I mean, there's knight a4, there's b4. Actually, bishop d4 is a good move. Let's go here. If e5, I just take, of course. Go here. I want to go b4 somewhere. Of course, I allowed knight g5 like a total idiot. I have to go here and play queen c5. This is what I want to do, but it's completely fine. I just should have put the knight on e6 first. Nihal just want to say hi. I mean, I don't care. One game, I mean, like, I'd have to be, I'd have to be a psycho to be mad about one game. Uh, he plays f four, which looks wrong. But why? But why? I think I'm gonna go here. This looks real. Maybe I should have just sacked. Like, a I should have just been a man and sacked the rook. But whatever. Go here. Open up the scope. Probably I should have done that. But anyway. All right, um, I can just go king e7, rook c8, and I should be fine here. At least if I, at least if I, I mean, maybe what I should be thinking about is my rating more than the actual, like, trying to cheese and win games quickly. So if I, if I, if I do well and I win games, I'll gain points, I'll gain points. And that probably matters more than, like, losing five games along the way and, and burning up my, burning my rating, um, in order to win the event. I don't know, it's an interesting question. And castle let's go here i'm not worried about 95 because i can always just take with the bishop in fact i probably should play b4 somewhere soon okay does this i'm gonna go b4 here right away takes a little bit surprised by that actually go here i think he missed takes takes rookie five sacking his own rook but who cares um what do I do here? I can play king f8, I guess. Maybe I'll just do it and take the knight. Keep it simple. Could have played rook b5 too. Takes a little bit surprised by that. Yeah, now I think I'm starting to get some play. Uh, Cause I can go like knight fd7 and now d's nuts are good. Um, Just knight c5, maybe rook b5. Uh, should be good. Um, <laughs> yikes, 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 yikes. Um, Okay, let's go here, I guess. And drop the rook back. Go, I guess I'll go b7 and probably knight c5 here. Um, yeah, I ax you say it too many times, eventually you slip. I should put the rook on b6 to start with, but whatever. I have rook a6, rook a8. Rook b5 incoming. Let's take the pawn. I also have f5s. Oh, I should have played f5. Maybe I should have played f5 first. 
Maybe. Now I have knight c5, I also have knight d3. I like knight d3 a little bit more with knight c5 here to use these knights. Um, I should be in good shape here. Rook a6 was also maybe good. Actually, you know what I just realized? I think I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go here to guard the pawn. I'm going to play f5 and keep both of the knights on the board. Let's go check and then f5. So 96, I just trade walk the king, win the pawn, and that should be a very clean technical win. It was rook a1. Um, actually, a pretty good move. Let's go. How do I do this? Let's go here, maybe. Go here. Okay, now I go check. I'm going to go here. I might have just blundered something bigly there, but maybe not. Let's go check. Go here, I guess, threaten mate in one. Okay, I'm thinking too long, though. And I've actually kind of messed this up somehow. Why am I playing such bad chess again? Got 20 more seconds, which is way too much time. Finally, we got the win. Let's keep going. Another win. Yeah, hopefully I start getting some easy pairings now. Hopefully. Okay, so Nihal's just going to troll. I mean, I'm just going to offer him a draw, I guess. I'll just play a draw. It's ridiculous. No, I mean, this is ridiculous. Is, is chess.com, I mean, going to just allow this? No, I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, I'm very quickly gonna, um, very quickly gonna stop playing Arena Kings so as this keeps happening. This happened last week. If, it's, if it happens again, like, I mean, I'm just gonna stop playing the event. Why can't he? Because it's an event for streamers with prize for streaming. And he's directly sniping just to play me, very clearly. No, I mean, it's very clear what he's doing. I mean, it's not, it's not right. Yeah. Go here. <laughs> I'd sue him. It's very funny. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Let's go here and push bay too. Um No, I mean it's just that I know he's sniping. That's the thing. Like it, it's not even a question. He's very clearly sniping. Um That that's the thing. It's it's not it's not even a question. I'm just gonna go H4. The other guy, no, the other guys are not sniping, no. No, they aren't. Yeah. Why did he snipe you and immediately draw? Because he's doing it to troll me. That's why. He's doing it to troll me. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, he's doing it to troll me. I mean, I guess theoretically I could stream on uh, stream on delay, but that, that ruins it. Theoretically, yeah. No, I mean, I'm not going to be super angry because it's not like he does it every week, whereas some people do it every week, but it just means I'm going to have to stop playing Arena Kings, so. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, not going to lie. Let's go here, hit the queen. There's some way to win. I'm going to go here in IG5. Delay is better than not playing at all, maybe. Yeah.
Yeah, okay, let's keep going. Yeah, if I get knee if I get knee hall again, like I might just drop out. Okay, now we get normal pairings. Okay, good. Now we're gonna get normal pair. Okay, so now we get normal pairings. So I'm playing a 2500. Okay, good. Go here. Uh, normal parents? No, normal pairings, not parents. Okay, oldest trick in the book. I, I think I played this against Marvin LePan in Con France in the World U Chess Festival under 10. I don't know if the knight was on D7 or G4, but this is one of the oldest tricks in the book. Um, where you win two pieces for the rook. Yeah, I won this. I won a game in the World of Chess Festival, 1997 in Cannes. Um, so ages ago. He shrewd me on mixer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You have parents. I'm super jealous. Nah, we we all have parents. Just uh, blocking doesn't work, by the way. And that's not even knee If you, it doesn't matter if you block it, block an account. You're still. Uh, it'd be nice if he resigns. I don't think he will, but. Um, but, uh, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. You can block, but in Arena Kings or Tides, who's in any event, it doesn't matter. That That is irrelevant. Go here. Okay, so he's, he's playing normal games now? Okay. So, but is he, is he streaming or not? Is he streaming or not? No, today we have a long way to go. We're going to do it. We're going to do an arena later. Um, see what other content we can come up with along the way. Go here, maybe Bishop G4 somewhere. Um, not actually all that enthused by my position, weirdly enough. Actually, I can take so the classic fork. Or no, eh, I guess I can kind of. It kind of works. Go here. No, it doesn't actually work. But I'll still win the game because he's 2400. E3 is super weak here. A lot of counterplay for these knights. Oh, never mind. He's only played one. Oh, so he's only played one there besides me. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Whatever. going take should be many ways to win this position although I'm not sure let's go check or g3 there's knight f5 I guess I'll just go back to f5 I don't know if this is right but it's a move Wow, I found Knight G3, which is a very good move. Um, I guess I'll just trade and go here. Go here, look at these knights. There's also Knight of Four looming too. Queen E4. Um, I could eat the Juicer, but then he has Queen E8. I mean, it's a matter of what. Is there a quick? I guess we're so early in the event that it really doesn't matter how I win, so long as I win. So let's just take with the Queen. If we were later in the event, I'd probably play this differently. But we're so early in the event that I mean, all I have to do is win the game. Go here. I have Knight C6, maybe. How do I win this? I think I just start pushing the P. Let's just start pushing P. I was pushing the P on the King side and he can't stop it. I mean, F4 looks fine too. Actually, why did I do that? That was so stupid. I mean, I'm still gonna win, but that was incredibly stupid.
Okay, the question is how do I win here? Um, I mean, everything's winning, but what's the cleanest way to win? I think I'll just go here. And now I built the chain, I win the game. Yeah, we got the win, let's keep going up to 11. Yeah, they had chest for the 50 gifteds, by the way. Do appreciate it. Okay, we're playing another 2,500. Okay, gotta win these games quickly. These are the games that are important to win. Build the chain and win, yeah. I'm gonna play a Banco Gambit here. Oh, uh, just go here, I guess. He can obviously take, but I have Knight A6 or Queen A5. Castle. Okay, plays d5, so now I'll play d6. Go b5, play eek b9, or not, sorry, not a Berlin. This is a Benko. Let's play b5, a6. Is that Rick Astley and his d play, dp? No, that's Kevin, uh, that's Kevin, or sorry, Davis first. No, that's not. Don't, don't be weird though. Um, just take and go here, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not, but... Yeah. This is not a great opening for me, but I'll still win. There, which I don't really understand that move, so I'll go here in knight c7. He's using too much time, because basically we can you can already see the contours of where this game is headed, uh, with my opponent using way too much time in the opening, and at some point when he makes one mistake, he's gonna have no time, and he's just gonna lose the game. You can already see the contours very clearly of what's going to happen. It's just way too slow. No, not be glum. I'm not actually glum. I'm, pr I'm pretty chill right now. Um, let's go here. Pressure the pawn. No, I'm very chill. I don't know. Why, why would it be glum? I'm going to line up some double stacks like queen d7, rook b8 probably. Let's go here. I also could have, I probably should have played knight before first to hook him, but it's still good, I think. There's also c4 looming. Yeah, it's like way too slow. Let's go here and take. I mean, he's playing a completely fine game, but he's just got no time already. Like he's already super low. You know, like 118 and ticking. I mean, it's gonna be very hard to play. Yeah, tick-tock. Now there's knight d5 also. This knight is weak. Tick-tock. 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 Let's take, if knight g5, I go f6 here. Rookie one, rookie eight should just be winning. Yeah, too slow. Yeah, it's got no time here. So I'm gonna win and we keep going. Yeah, I mean, I've literally used 35 seconds. So he resigns, it's going up to 15. Of course, of course, I get Nihal. Has Nihal played anybody else, by the way? Like, has Nihal played anyone else or not? He's on 12 points. Okay, let's keep going next game. Yeah. I don't care about the rating at the moment. I'd rather rather keep picking up points. Okay, I'm playing Coral as a serious chess player. Let's play Knight F3. Not that Nihal's not a serious chess player, but um, or the rest of the field isn't serious, but let's keep going. Yeah, I realize as soon as I said, you're like, wait a second. Is he saying that nobody is a serious chess player? What's wrong with him? He's like being disrespectful to everybody who's playing this tournament. Um, yeah. This castle play rookie one ninety two. 
Um, what is this? Bishop F4 looks reasonable. I don't know if it's a good move, but I just want to prevent this idea with E6 here. The arena's rated, of course. Yeah, it's rated. Unserious, serious player, yes. Uh, I don't know what knight d7 does. I'm probably going to try to trade the trade the bishops here. Not really convinced by this bishop and knight setup. It looks very awkward to me. Doesn't this allow me bishop d3 or something? Could go a4. I mean, this looks very weird. This doesn't look right at all. Wait a second. Why don't I just have b3? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. If I go b3, takes rook a6. Knight a5, I just take with queen a3, queen a1. I mean, this should just be winning for me. Because rook a4 is a very strange knight takes b2 trick. And it goes there, I take. I go here, takes, of course. Actually, I could play queen a4, maybe. Actually, I can just take this first and then take the knight because the squares are covered. Now I take, of course. Now this is very clean. I mean, I've got great placement for all my pieces. It's just a matter of mopping this up. Knight d2 is decent. Um, bishop g5 is an interesting move, but I think just bishop f1. It's good, but it's not clean. So I'm going to go knight up d2. Maybe try to put the knight on c4 here. Don't have to trade. Um, dude, why did I do this? We'll go here. I feel like I did something a little bit wrong here. I'm still fine, but knight b6 right. But now I'll drop the bishop back to like d3. Just to pressure the pawn on a7. Go c4. Again, I have another pawn I can capture here. It's a question of whether I want to. And I think the answer is that I don't want to. So I'm going to go bishop f1. Like, I should just be much better here if I play this precisely. So, considering that I should be much better if I'm precise, then I should just go for it here. He goes rook c8. This does hang a7. But I don't think I actually want to take it. I think I just go here, maybe. Eventually, I'm going to need to unwind them. I'm going to need to reroute the pieces sooner or later. Bum 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 And now I'm gonna try to play knight f3, try to put something on d4, and then bring the other knight into the game. This knight is still tied down to the pawn. So this knight's a little bit dubious. This knight isn't great. And now I go knight d4, and he takes. I mean, I think I just. I can take with the pawn here, maybe. Probably decent, but I'll just take with the bishop. I've got a nice wooden shield here in the middle of the board. Really, this knight is my only issue. As soon as I get the knight into the game, I can never lose. They'll probably resign pretty soon. Yeah, because this gives me knight a3, and now knight c4, and now I just win the game. Yeah, now he'll resign. Or not, I guess. Just trade and go here. I'm gonna start bringing the queen over to the king side. Let's go e5. Actually, e5 is a bad move. Why do I do that? Let's take. Let's takes. Uh, I guess rook c8 is good. Take. GG, next game. So far, so good, actually. Pretty good stuff so far. Okay, 2676. We want to win this one quickly. Actually, to be careful, he could play a bishop h6 pre move on me. Uh, how many arena kings have I won? Quite a few. I don't know how many specifically, but quite a few. But I also haven't played arena kings anywhere near as much. Because uh, I, I took a long break from it. This hangs a pawn, kind of. I'll go here and pressure b2. 
Yeah, I mean, he kind of hung a pawn, but he also didn't. I'm going to go for it. Let's take. Oh, he can go for... Whoops, I didn't. I did not see this. Wait a second. Okay, wait. Just take. Go here to hit the bishop. I think I'll drop my bishop back. Maybe to... I guess I'll drop it back to g7. I know g7, f6. It's all kind of the same thing here. Classic potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Go here. Take. Now I'll go rook a1, trade off the uh trade off the rooks, and I should just win this very easily. Go here, trade off these rooks. Read out, read out his name. YM YM Fib 88J43890 RFIJWO 93I. I don't know why I should I should re read that out, but I should I mean apparently I should. Um do I have bishop a6 or something? I think I do. I'm gonna go for this to hit the queen and hit the rook. He has check, but I go king g7. Let's take. Rookie one, I mean, I'll just take and play queen e5, why not? I don't actually know if this endgame is winning, but I assume it is. I'm gonna go c5 here. Put the pawns in the opposite color of the light square bishop. Like, bring the bishop back now. Gonna start pushing P in the middle of the board. Eh, I guess I'll keep doing it. It should be winning for me. It's the same color bishop, so that's the most important thing. Oh, he hung H3 too. Okay, I'll take, and now I just win. So far, I'm doing pretty well. I'm maintaining my rating thus far. Okay, Damian Lewis, I get one point if I beat him. Go D4, F4. Or sorry, no, it's Damiano Lou, not Damian Lewis. Damian Lewis is a great actor. Why, why would you ever confuse a weak chess player with a um, with a famous actor? Let's go Bishop C4, and I'm going to castle and play Knight G5 here. All right. Um, that's I've, actually why am I? I'm starting to make it a little bit like the disrespect speed run a little bit. I should be careful what I say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm being a little bit, little bit, a uh, little bit, little bit disrespectful. Pardon me. Sorry, you guys. No, no offense. Um, go here and hit the rook. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Okay, let's sack the rook with rook takes bishop, and we win the game immediately. Another very big quick win. Yeah, it's just GG immediately. Oh, uh, the origin behind Sack the Rook is Levy made a video and it became some kind of meme. Okay, I get Joss, but okay, big game here. Okay, um... Uh, what do I want to do against Jospam? Jose Alcantara Martinez. Let's we'll play Queen Takes. Let's play here. I'm moving way too fast, by the way. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm moving way too fast. Yeah, I'm just going to go back and pretend I've done nothing wrong, even though I've done a lot wrong. I'm moving way too fast, but whatever. It plays... Well... Okay, first of all, I have bishop f6. I mean, I can also just... 
So I play Bishop F6. I mean, this isn't great, but it's still something. Probably just a draw here. There's Rook D8. I mean, I obviously don't want to trade, so I'll just bring the Bishop in. Maybe Rook B1 next move. Um, let's go here to hit the Bishop. Very, very boring position. Very drawish. Go here to hit the bishop again. But I am trying to move fast. Oh, I had queen b2, which was very good also. Go here to hit the pawn of the bishop. He allowed it again. He should not have allowed this. Um, we can just take... Yeah, I think he missed queen f6. And now, I mean, there's a good chance I win the game because the bishop is weak, the rook is weak. He does have rook d7. Uh, obviously, I can take with check. Okay, now the key here is just how to how to win the game. And I think h3 looks like a pretty safe move to start with. Mm, let's go here. Okay, resigns. Let's keep going. Quick win and a good one at that. Didn't have to burn a lot of time. Okay, we're doing pretty well here. Three draws against Nihal. Hopefully I don't get Nihal again. <clears throat> yeah, so far it's pretty good actually. I'm pretty happy with my play thus far. Play E5. Here, h4 has got to be a slight issue, I would think. I mean, he's letting me put the knight on g4, potentially. I'll go here. Um, Am I supposed to be worried? I can go a5, but I don't want to. I think I'm going to go knight e8 and knight d6, maybe. Knight d6, of course. I'm going to move my queen back. He can still go b5, but I go knight a5. He's there. Which for some reason I perceive as a mistake. I don't know why, but let's go here. I feel like he's moving too fast on some level. It's not like I'm better or anything, but I feel like Mitrov is moving a little bit too fast. Let's go back. Let's go here, maybe 97. I can play a6. I can also just go c5 though. Let's go here. Yeah, he's definitely moving too fast. We're both probably moving too fast, though, to be fair. Okay, now he's trying to slow it down. Let's go F6, consolidate the chain. I have G5 somewhere in here, too. Um, I think I'm going to go G5 here just to... And take both ways. I'll take with the H pawn. He's gonna go like rook a1. I'll go here and probably bishop f7 and knight e6 at some point. Knight e6 here incoming. I have a feeling g5 was kind of wrong for some reason. It just doesn't it feels a little bit icky. Okay, what am I missing here? I'm go g4 maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go g4 and ask him what he's doing. Oh, wait, let's go here. I thought I could take the pawn, but that just hangs g4. Okay, let's go here, maybe knight g5. There's also knight c8 to try and trap the rook, maybe, but let's see what he does. I have a feeling I'm much better here, just a, my gut instinct. Go here. Um, I should actually, why did I allow this? Maybe just here to hold all the glue. So I'll try to trade a, trade a rook off. I should have gone rook c8, not rook. Let's trade. So I'll just go back. I, mean, I feel like there's something bad happening on the king side here. I don't know why, but it just instinctively it feels really shaky for white. Like, okay, I have queen h5 maybe. I mean, this looks really scary for white. Can I go knight e4? I think I can. 
Yeah, it's just GG. I have rook, rook D1. I have a classic checkmate. Good stuff. We're going to get another quick win. Good check. I mean, knight F3 is just GG, I think. Yeah. Keep going up to 33. Yeah, we're, we're, we're now back up there. We're back near the top. And I'm actually gaining some points right now. If I can keep my rating going here, like I can play an entire Arena Kings in, like in a good ma manner of speaking, I have a chance to maybe push for a push for the record. So I'm going to have like five full days before Title Tuesday to try and get my rating over 33, which is all that I can ever ask for. So basically we get to the middle of the week and um, we get we get past Wednesday. My rating is good still. That's all that I all that I really hope for. Go here. Go here and take. Ali Reza is a Beatles fan. He qualified by the long winding road. Exactly. I won the late title Tuesday. Yes, you guys, I did. Yeah. Uh, I played queen up too annoying. Uh, let's go here. I'm trying to use D's knights again. Maybe B4 also an idea somewhere. I am moving extremely fast, so I'm bringing the speed today. I'm really bringing the pace. Like, that is the one thing I am doing. I'm definitely bringing the speed today. Who's King B1? I mean, I know that's a move. I guess I'm looking for something here that works. I don't quite see it, though. Let's go here. Oh, I gave him bishop c1. Why did I do that? I, I that was bad. I don't understand this. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna believe him. What the heck? Oh wait, did I just blunder? Oh wait. I don't think I blunder, but not good. Okay, so I mean, I have to trade and I have to take and I have to take F3 and I'm, I'm okay, but that was dangerous. It was very close to losing for a second. Okay, now I'll win the game. And I'll go use the Russian very quickly in a second, I think, or maybe I'll try to win one more. Hold the P, it makes you play faster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's too slow. Maybe I'll go use the restroom right now. Yeah, I think... Uh... No, I guess not. I was I was thinking about going and using the restroom right then. That doesn't matter, does it? Does it matter? I don't know. Go here. Yeah, I don't know if I should go now or wait till the game ends. Thanks so much, Walking Hobbit, for subscribing. Thanks so much, Walking Hobbit. I mean, everything wins here, but this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom and we will be right back in one second. All right, let's keep going, you guys. We're up to 37. Next game.
Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go A5 here. Probably C6 next, move to chip away at the center. Takes, I'll take with a pawn, of course. I have rook b8 here. Go here anyway. I'm gonna go d5 somewhere. A lot of pressure here. Trade out the bishops. I guess I'll just castle now. Don't know if I'm much better or not, but I should be fine. Hmm. I should be doing well here. See what he does. He takes, okay. Now I can take with a knight here. I don't know if it's right. There's rook up d8 here. This looks very bad, but <clears throat> remove this. It's not just winning. I think I'm just winning again. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna get another win up to 41. Bordick won a quick game. Coffee's with Apple, yeah. Okay. So again, we're playing Jimenez Corrales from Cuba. Let's play D3. Play Knight C3. Uh, I'll play the H3 line this time. It's all kind of the same thing. Got a piece of apple stuck in my teeth, which is kind of annoying. Castle take. Go here. Bishop e3, rook d1. I mean, this is all very standard stuff. Should be a small advantage for me here. Not a big edge, but a small edge for sure. Computers always love this position for white. I don't know why, but they just love it. What's the point behind rook c8? I don't understand rook c8, but... I mean, I, I guess I understand the reasoning, but I just don't think it's a very good move. Um, I'm going to go a5 here. I can play knight a4. I can also trade, but I think just... Why should I not just drop back? It's got this horrible pawn on d6. It's super soft. Go knight a4, knight b6 even. <clears throat> There's also c5 looming. I mean, it's just a very, very unpleasant position for black to play. I also had c5 there, but I'm going to bring the knight in. He's going to go like h5. I'll just sidestep with king h1, reroute the horsey. Knight b6 still in play. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna go like 
Maybe. I don't know if knight b6 is best, but I'll put the knight here anyway. Bring the knight back around. And if queen f4, there's always c5 too, to over, over press him. It goes queen e7, logical move. I'll just play queen e3 now. Idea to play queen g5 or knight f3. Probably I should have played knight f3 first, but who cares? It's a very, very bad position for black. 3400 is the actual goal. I mean, if I keep playing good chess, good things happen. I'm not really, honestly, I'm not thinking about the score right now. I'm just trying to play good chess. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm trying to just play, play good games and just beat these guys cleanly. Because if I play cleanly, I mean, 3300 is probably more important than winning the Arena Kings. And his position is just so bad. This is weak. Like, he's got this weakness, this weakness. I mean, it looks terrible for, for my opponent here. Okay, so he gives up a pawn, so I'll take. I've got queen g3 here. I mean, I also have knight f5. I could also just go back. Um, I can also take and go rook d7. Actually, why not just take and go rook d7? This has to be winning. I'm pretty sure this, this is winning. Could have played queen g3 first, but if this isn't winning... I could also take on e6, but I assume this is correct. Let's go here. Really, really hard to believe that the two rooks are worth anything commensurate to the, the knights. Um, actually, though, go here, maybe. Let's take. Or check. I've got knight d6, I guess. He's trying to find the counterplay, but I don't think it's happening. Um, well, I have knight f7 here. I'm kind of messing this up just a little bit. Uh, I'll just go here. Just there. I mean, for some reason, the a6 isn't just winning, basically. Go here. Because now I can bring the queen and the knight always... The rook's distracted. That's just GG. Pretty soon. I think I'll just go C5, C6. I'm just going to be a barbarian and just... I can even sack the queen. I just make a queen. Yeah. We got the win next game. Big win up to 45. Yeah, because like I'm gaining rating right now with my score. Like That almost matters more than anything else. Um